Hey guys, in this video we'll be covering how to hook up this React Redux JWT front-end example with this Node.js JWT, JWT API. I won't be going into the details of the code of each project in this video other than a small change that I need to make to the React front-end to point it to the API, but both of the projects are covered in detail in each of these tutorials, which I'll link to in the video description. You can see just down here, each of the uh, code files is detailed with descriptions there. Now, before starting, you should have your machine set up to support developing React and Node.js applications. If you don't yet, you can follow this link from the React tutorial that has instructions for setting up your machine for developing React applications, which also includes the tools for developing Node.js applications. Once you've done that, we can get started, and we'll start by downloading and running the Node.js JWT API on our local machine. So first we'll jump over to GitHub to get the project URL. Click in here, and copy the URL to the Git repo close that tab then, and open a command window. I'll cd into the projects folder that I have, which is where I want to put the projects, and uh, run the git clone command to clone the project. Let's cd into the project folder, run npm i, or npm install to install the Node.js package dependencies. Then running npm start to start the API. Okay, that's all up and running. We can see that the API is running and listening on localhost port 4000. Right, jumping back to the tutorial. So the API is up and running. Next, we'll get the React app up and running. So jumping over to the GitHub link for the React project. We'll do the same thing here. We'll copy the URL for the React project GitHub repo. And then going back to the command window, we'll open a new command window and navigate back into the projects folder and run git clone for the React project. and cd into the React project folder and npm i to install all of the packet dependencies for that project. Next I'll open up the project in Visual Studio Code by running code and passing the current directory. As I mentioned before that I need to make a small change in the React code because by default the React project run, runs backendless by using a fake backend. So I can run without a real backend API. Just need to remove these few lines here that configure that fake backend. By removing that, our front end will now send requests through to the Node.js API that we have up and running. I'll also just show you in the Webpack config here, this is where the API URL is configured for the project. And that's pointing to localhost 4000, which as you recall is port that our API is running on. So back at the command window for the React project, I'll run npm start to launch our React app. Yeah, that's our React app up and running. I'll open up the browser dev tool so we can be able to see the network requests being sent to the API. The app is pretty simple, it just has a login page and a home page. The login page um, sends a username and password to the API. The API currently just has a hard-coded test user with the username and password test and test. So I'll enter those details now, hit login. We can see that a request has been made here to the authenticate route of the API and it has sent our username and password test and test and the response that it received back were the user details along with a JWT token. Now the next 
the home page of the React app has also made a second request to a secure API endpoint. And uh, that's to fetch all of the users from the API, which at the moment is just our test user. Um, the reason I have that in there is to demonstrate making a secure request to the API, which uh, requires the use of this JWT token. So that request is down here. And if we look at the headers, you can see that in the authorization header, that the JWT token that we got back from our Authenticate request has been passed in the authorization header of that request, which is why it was able to um, authenticate successfully and get back our list of users from the API. All right, I think that's it. That is how you hook up this React Redux front-end example with this Node.js API. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, please like or subscribe below. Okay, cheers.